For many South Africans, Judge Masipa is a symbol of accomplishment. During the apartheid regime, she was arrested while protesting the detention of her media colleagues. As a social worker and journalist, she became known for her level-headedness, which she's kept throughout the Pistorius trial. At no stage has she ever lost her cool either with the defense or, you know, Gerenel, the prosecutor, or whoever. She has always interjected, if that is the right legal term, whenever it's necessary. But I think overall, my personal view is that she has uh, handled herself extremely well. She has struck a blow for, I think, the South African judiciary in general. But more importantly, I think, for black women. Masipa became a provincial judge in 1998 in a sector heavily dominated by white men. Before I came. She is not the sort of person to become emotive. I don't recall ever her making any uh, emotive outbursts about anything, you know, even with her colleagues. So the manner in which she has, you know, conducted herself, I mean, I've been watching the case, like most South Africans, very closely. Uh, again, you know, that level-headedness, which is displayed even when she was just a journalist, uh, it is coming true. But what other qualities does Judge Masipa have that will help her make a decision in this trial? Down quite hard. She, she, she's a very good listener. She listens uh, when cases are conducted in front of her. And she is uh, very intelligent and would apply her mind to the facts. She will be persuaded only by the facts that were placed before her in a case. And you can rest assured that uh, any outcome that she brings in a matter will be a very well-reasoned and very thought-out uh, conclusion on the facts. And the world will know very soon how these qualities no, have been brought to bear in the Pistorius the murder trial. Maria Galang, CCTV.